everybody welcome back if you haven't been here before my name is Kat um, and I just doing it I guess so um, if you have been following me since the beginning you know that I am an artist I own an Etsy store called the crafting Aries um, it is very small right now just because I'm new it's just like this YouTube very small everything's very small right now but you got to start somewhere so um, if you've been following me, you know that, like I said, I'm an artist. Um, I didn't go to school for art or anything. It just, um, when things started going downhill with my health, it just started picking up with finding other things to do to make me more comfortable. Now, during the time that I started the crafting areas, that was early in this March, um, just before we got closed down for COVID, I was working. Um, I worked in a hospital. Um, but in an ambulatory clinic with diabetes patients, um, but in medical records. So I really enjoyed that job. I loved it. But like I said, as things go started to go further and further down with my health, it just kind of started to become harder. So I quit my job in September, um, unfortunately due to my disabilities. And I decided that I wanted to throw myself fully into YouTube into other social media and fully into my art skills uh, with my store. So I've been working on a website and I've been working on merch uh, or pieces to put out. I've been working on hopefully if we don't have a pandemic next year, hopefully working on doing some um, art shows, all that kind of stuff. So I am really excited and hopefully that will work out. Um, but today, um, I just want to let you guys know that uh, me and my husband are finally starting the process of making my own corner of the office um, so I can do more orders, I can do more work, and I can have more of a private space where I can listen to my audiobook and work like I used to at my old job. Um, today, I'm actually going to start working on um, cleaning up the corner of the office so we can get things started um, and I'm hoping to make this a little serious so this might not be a very long video it might not be very exciting I might just get distracted and forget altogether that I am filming but um, at least I get to bring you guys along with the ride so you can see the new space that is going to be um, opened up so that I can create more things um, and make it more professional and more outstanding. Uh, okay, so the first thing um, we decided to do is we were trying to figure out where we wanted to put that. Um, our house is a two-story house and right now we sleep upstairs. So when I want to go upstairs to go to bed or come downstairs, I either have to crawl up the stairs or need help getting up or I need help getting down or I slide down the stairs. Um, so it's kind of difficult right now, especially since our steps are so steep. Um, and to get one of those little like stair roller coasters is quite a bit of money, unfortunately. Um, but I, um, you know, it's nice, but it's, it's hard. It's not meant for a person with mobility disabilities. So basically we kind of decided that when my husband gets a new job, hopefully um, he will be getting a new job here in the next year or so, um, being a full-time EMT. Um, he and I decided we were going to move our bedroom downstairs. That means uh, the office that we currently have, where it has his side of the office that I've also been using and all of like our office things, um, is going to have to be moved upstairs or somewhere else. So we kind of, that started the wheels turning for us a little bit. We really, I kind of didn't know what to do. Um, so we kind of thought about maybe we should, you know, fix up the garage. Our garage isn't like a finished garage. It's like cement wall, wall, wall and a garage door. We don't use the garage like a garage personally. It's not attached to our house. So we just um, haven't really been doing too much with that, unfortunately. Um, all the ideas we came for that was great um, until we found out that the roof was leaking. And that was highly unfortunate for us because we really, really just wanted to get it fixed. Um, but 
unfortunately we didn't get hail damage like every single one of our neighbors around us did. So we weren't able to um, have them fix our stuff with the hail damage. So that kind of sucked. So we kind of was like, maybe we should just like, you know, <gasps> So we were maybe like, let's just bulldoze the thing down, we can build it out as far as we want, um, we can add a cement slab and make it easier for me to get in um, and out of the house too because we can put the cement up a little better. Um, and we were thinking about all the stuff we could do, we could cut off the front and have two separate rooms and he can have his gym slash um, office space and I could have my um, art slash office space um, and we would just have our own separate rooms and then also like in the front we would have enough room to park both cars. That was one of those things where we looked into money calls and we were like oh that's not great. So then we thought maybe maybe we'll do a she shed or a he shed. That way you know one of us can keep the office. Unfortunately both the bedrooms are upstairs and then there's a one bedroom down here which we're using for the office. So then I went to my aunt and my aunt is great with all this kind of stuff and I you know told her all the troubles and all the things that we need to do and she kind of helped me came up with a plan but then I, when I showed my husband it didn't go out so well so and it wasn't because of that it was more like let's look at how much this is going to cost us to even do something like this and unfortunately it costs a lot of money. Um, so, you know, when we first bought this home, we didn't anticipate me having all these troubles. So, um, right now what the idea is, is to clean out the one corner of the office and move it over and then figure things out as we go. So, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, unfortunately, it is 7.10 p.m. I know, why am I starting so late? I'm so, I'm so smart. What a genius. I'm great. Um... <laughs> But I just thought, I'll do some of it, clean off a few shelves, put some stuff away. That way we can make it a little easier because right now in that corner, there's a bunch of my art supplies. And then there's also uh, tons of books from Michael's childhood. Um, and then I've also got to clean off my art desk in the back room. Um that's filled with all my art supplies and then I've also got to figure out where I'm gonna put everything as we want to do to the back room is we want to make that a Theo sanctuary so he has to bed his kennel everything down there so um, he can be comfortable um, you know if he ever has to go down there like if we're leaving the house so we don't bring him with um, like I said in my service dog training video not really training video but like I said, he's not really up to par with social situations yet. He's also not a full-blown service dog, so he cannot legally go with us everywhere. So it would just give him more of a big space to run around, maybe like a 12 by 12 foot room for him to just, you know, go crazy in. Um, but we want to do that, but I have to clean out all my art stuff from down there, and I have to bring it somewhere. So, that's fun, and if you ask, why don't I just build it in this little corner? Uh, friends, I tried building something in this corner, and honestly, it works, but it is like, it's basically, it's two totes, a few pieces of wood, and it, that's pretty much it, just to make like a table for like my makeup and to film and all that kind of stuff, so... It's, it's not worth it. It's, no, there's, there's no reason for that. So, um, yeah. Uh, okay, so we're going to get started, but to do that, we need to get out of something like this and into something a little more comfortable. So I'll be right back this in a long time. So let's see what we find and let's get her cleaned up. This should take a few days though, so... Uh, the next time you guys see it probably will look a little different um but i'm just you know might as well start the journey with you guys and um you know since you guys are part of the reason that i am having the space made so i'll see you guys over there 
Hello, if you're here, you've made it to the second half of the video or the corner that my office is going to be in. As you can see, Theo is right here. He's going to help me. Um, we're going to just clean up a little bit because it is 8 o'clock at night. I already did push it a little bit today. So I'm just going to start by taking some stuff off. If I find anything cool, I will show you. But other than that, this is the sped up, excuse me, this is the sped up portion of the video. So I'll have to show you guys that someday because he's got some cool brows. But not in this video. This is our wedding rings together. This is my cute husband, as you've seen in other videos. This was our, our, our kiss when we got married. He dipped me and he told me he wasn't going to be able to dip me, but he did it anyway. And it scared me. And it was weird. So I found a picture of Michael when he was little. Uh, he had swoopy hair and kind of looked like um, Christopher Drew from Never Show Never. <laughs> that was super cute. Um, and look. So I know this little video was a little different than it normally is. Um, I just wanted to give a big thank you to you if you stayed to the end of this video, if you subscribed, if you watched. If not, please hit that big red subscribe button. Please hit the like button. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.